I'm literally in the hands. camera sighted. <laughs> I feel like I don't know what to do with my hands. Should I just put them there? What do we say? I like Coach Fire School because it's a great community and people are very nice. There's loads of new people and you make loads of new friends and like it's just really nice to have loads of friends. It, it's very nerve wracking for the first couple of days but once you get into the swing of it, it's fine. And it's, it's just like primary really, you, you get the hang of it. I mean, it looks really big on like the outside but then when like you actually walk into your lessons, it doesn't seem that big. Why do I keep on letting my head so much? <laughs> <laughs> I like how there's always someone there to help you if you get lost or you're stuck on something. And I also love the food. It's very nice. It is quite easy to find a way yeah. once you like know. Like after the first couple of weeks you like get used to it. Yeah. I found it a bit difficult, like going on, but after a few days, I got the hang of it, and then it was. Then I started enjoying it. You, you start to find your way around the school quickly. Like right? it, it, it only takes like two days, and you, you start to know where everything is. When you go into your six, it is quite nervous thinking about going to high school, but it's not as much of a big deal as like, people make it out to be. It's like you think it's nervous, but it's not actually when you get there, because there's people who can help you and this kind. If you listen to the teachers, you won't have a problem with them. If you don't, you will definitely have a problem with them. But I just try to be kind. They're not kind to my brother. <laughs> Should I just keep my hands like this or just move it around when we're doing it? All the teachers are really nice to you, so you can't really hate anyone because they'd be a mean to you because they're not. Mr. Bolton is yeah, very yeah. funny. He's the best, Mr. Bolton. Best teacher. No, I think Mr. Heller. Or oh, in music class with Mr. Sims, he was so funny. Oh, God. My favourite lesson is probably DT because at primary school it was just sticks and paper on a piece of card and then you're done. They don't even let you have fizzy drinks in primary school. Yeah. They don't. We could, we could only get milk and water. <laughs> <laughs> I play netball after school as an extracurricular. I also play netball after school and I also do art club on Thursday lunch time. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I know Fraser from football. Jack, I met him here and we just become mates like in an instant like that. This morning Mr. Hunt watched where has any draft has been on it, which is quite funny. But Butcher Thai is just really, really, really amazing. I really like how big it is. Um, it's just a really good school. I like Culture Pie School because it has good food. Very good food. I like Culture Pie School because of lots of different classes like food tech, which is my favourite, and Spanish. And all the teachers are nice. The PE teachers are amazing. They'll have a joke, but if you get on the bad side, you don't want to. You just want to like stay in the middle, and it'll be amazing. You'll have the best PE lesson ever. And we were doing PE once, and we were doing um, a handball, and I nearly fell flat on my face. <laughs> None of us went to the same school, basically. So on induction day, me and Joe met up, and then we yeah, met Josh on the on the third, third day. And the year, uh, we followed me everywhere, and then we were going to classes because I don't know where to get me. Uh, I think we should definitely come here because it's always good to have a challenge because when you challenge to do something it makes you more determined so you want to try harder, you want to try and reach that goal. And I'm surprised that you came from year 7. <laughs> <laughs>